A Visit from St. Nicholas <laughs> by Clement Clark Moore. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, as visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the curtain and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. And what do my wandering eyes did appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. There you go, Santa. <laughs> Am I Santa? Yeah. With a little old driver so lively and quick. <laughs> hey, it's Santa and his old tiny dick. <laughs> <clears throat> More hey, rapid baby. than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Hey, Rudolph! <laughs> Dancer! Assholes, get out here! Prancer! Dixon! Dixon. Your brother! Comet, Cupid! Donner and Blitzen! <clears throat> and to the, hey, did I say Rudolph! Top of the porch to the top of the wall, dash away, dash away, dash away all! As I drew in my head and was turning around, <laughs> oh, that's good. That's wise manish. You look like Caspiar. Droll uh -huh. little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Ginger. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a jelly. <laughs> he was laying his finger aside of his nose. <laughs> giving a nod up the chimney he rose. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Woo! Woo! Merry Christmas. Bring uh, peppercorns for the king. <laughs>